Hello, everybody. We have a very serious show today, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, no, I got to check out then. Bye. Happy, happy <laughs> one year anniversary to our <laughs> podcast. I am Ray. I'm the resident church mouse. <laughs> Hello, I spent four days in Vegas with a childhood friend. So, oh, so yeah, she's recovering from Vegas. Yes, and we've Although got Katy Perry. I could have gone to Katy Perry, but oh well, I would have had to have changed my ticket. But we've got <laughs> Allison, who's just back from Vegas, and we got Melanie on the other side with her her party hat on, and we are celebrating one year of doing this podcast. It started September 1st, 2022. So it's a year to the day. Great. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. I know. And it's turned into one of my favorite days of the week because we get to hang out midweek and yeah, it's fun. It is fun. Um, I will say, so start off. Well, I've got a little video we're going to share in a second, but for me, the favorite, my favorite memory of the podcast over the last year was having Carmichael Peters on. Mm -hmm. And there's a clip of him in the video we're going to share because he just, he took us to the church. He did. Spiritually, emotionally, just it, it took us to church. And he, he was on um, for Holy week during Lent. So I'll get him to come on again. Love to have him. Okay. I'll find, I'll Uh, find an event to get him to come on. So, but Melanie, what was your favorite of the last year? You know, I always love Sweet Christie's energy and her joy. I <laughs> yeah. love her on. Um, she is just contagious and she's such a ray of sunshine. Um, but also, what I, like you were saying, you know, each week when we get together, it's always fun to connect with you all. And mm-hmm. Ray always says something funny right before we hit the record button. And so I'm always cracking up and uh, it's just good, you know, at the end, at the end of the week to have, to have that fun and fellowship. Yeah, It is. It is. um, Allison, what's your favorite? I can't, I don't have one. I mean, everything you said, like, I love all the speakers, like Jane Delury talking about reconciling Christy and of course, Carmichael, he's, he's my people. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Love him. He's one of my closest friends. Um, Martin. I mean, and just like Melanie said, Ray, you cracking us up because there are times I can't hold it together. <laughs> yeah, we well, we do let kind of go Casey, every once in a while. Casey came on. So this is non alcoholic. <laughs> this is Martinelli's in case you need proof. Here it is. Martinelli's it's not alcoholic. Diet ginger beer, so Mine is coffee. So cheers. <laughs> cheers. 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 To another 20 years. <laughs> okay. That just came out my nose. <laughs> 20 years. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, I'll be 83. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> we'll be complaining about those young kids. Those young know. whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, hold on. Wait. So let's share. I'm going to share. It's a three and a half minute video. It's got some clips from the last year and some of the people we've talked about. Actually, all of the people we've talked about, there's clips of them in here. So hang on. Let me figure out how to do this. I only do this every single day of the week. (laughs) All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Ray Fisher, the music director here at Loomis First United Methodist Church. And this is our inaugural podcast or Godcast, whatever you want to call it. (laughs) Um, We thought we would try this out for a while, see if everybody liked it. We wanted to find new ways to communicate and reach out to everybody at the church to keep everybody, everybody apprised of what's happening at Loomis First United Methodist Church. And today... We not only have Melanie Oliver with us, we also Hi, have everybody. 
We also have Allison Berry, our beloved pastor. She's back from Spain. And I think we're, I'm not quite sure if we, if we like her yet or not. <laughs> Sorry. But can I selfishly say that I love technology because I've gotten used to hanging out with you every Thursday. So we can still hang out. Thursdays are like one of my favorite days now because I get to hang out with you two and we get to chat about everything going on at the church. I yeah. really look forward to doing this every week. All right. So now we have Brother Patrick Aiello with us today. And I am very excited to have you on because you have so many ministries going on in the church that you're a part of. And we wanted to give you some airtime. All right. We have Mr. Martin Beal with us today, and today is, um, we have choir rehearsal tonight, number one, but then we also have our choir coming back this Sunday under the direction of our new choir director, Martin. Oh, get ready. It is Christy Olson, Yay! and the live stream will just now get the party started, so let me bring her in. <laughs> All right, so we have the lovely and talented Christy Olson. Hi, Christy. Hello. Hi. We have our special guest today, Miss Serenita. Miss Serenita. Hi, Hi Sarah. So we have Sarah Winston with us, and Hi, Sarah. Sarah is our guest speaker today, Hi, like we said, and she's going to talk. Yes. So we have Sue Goebel. And she works in our church office, and she is actually stepping in today for her daughter, Jocelyn, uh, Dr. Carmichael Peters, and he is going to be speaking to us today. Allison, you want to... When we forget our intimacy with divinity, and when we forget our reverence for all the beings who make up our creation, this shows itself in how we are with others, how we have been, and so this this need for forgiveness, this repentance is both individual and collective. Today, we have Jane Delury oh. and- And we considered that our church was already reconciling. And a lot of people said, why do we have to do something? We're an, we're an inclusive church. And that goes back to our history. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know, our church was originally a Japanese Methodist church. And um, in during World War II, every member of our church was interned. So, um, on June 1st, 2008, Ted Verts, the district superintendent, conducted a meeting um, and 160 people attended in the fellowship hall, right? a 91% in favor of adopting the statement and becoming a reconciling church. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yes! So look how, uh, how long, how young we looked. Oh my God. <laughs> No, hide me. Can I, I think I need an avatar? It's when, where's my avatar? So that was great. I just wanted to see those faces again. We had some, mm -hmm. some great people on. Mm -hmm. And I know we only had a few minutes to, to share. So, but I did want, uh, Carmichael just said so many deep things. Yeah. I wanted to share a little bit of his insight and then share a little bit of uh, what Jane talked about with the reconciling ministries, because it was very powerful with the process and everything. But so I guess back to our regularly scheduled program now. Um, so Can I think to Carmichael for a second, like not only is everything that comes out of his mouth so wise and thought provoking, but his voice, like I just want to listen to that recording as I go to sleep every night, you know, just, just, he can talk about whatever, but his voice is so soothing and so calm. It's like he has the perfect voice for who he is. And unassuming. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's very, uh, there was a, a, you get, you know, I'm a Trekkie. Um, there's this uh, episode of Star Trek, the next generation where they're talking about this guy who is going to broker a peace treaty. And they say something like, those who who would try to yell over uh, someone else talking loud might strain to hear a whisper. Mm -hmm. And he talks so that you actually, you want to be engaged and listen to what he says. Oh, he, yeah. He's not preaching at you. He is sharing yes. deeply from his soul. And when you hang out, like everything is a teaching moment. Um, I'll never forget one time he just point blank asked me, show me the upper room. And I'm like, what i felt like i was back in seminary in class and i said well you know the upper room is everywhere and he goes no more intimate 
And finally I said, well, it's in Leona's kitchen. And he just kind of went, uh, <laughs> you're close. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, taking a quick look back at this last week, um, Sunday, amazing service. Um, Jesus uh, asked the disciples, who do they believe he is? And some of them said, uh, maybe Elijah, maybe Jeremiah or John the Baptist. He said, no, but who do you say I am? And Peter said, you're the Messiah, the son of the living God. And um, yeah, and then he ordered them not to tell anybody. Keep it secret. Don't share. Well, and then this week he says, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> I use so, that a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I use that a lot. Yeah, I do too. And it's, you know, there's Peter trying to tell him how to do his ministry and he get behind me, Satan. Yep. <laughs> and can I just say that Damien yes. and Martin totally knocked it out of the park when they did Hallelujah on Sunday. So I got so many compliments on that. And I think we were a little bit nervous about doing that song, but Damien said, I want to do it. I said, okay, go for it. And um, I think it turned out really well. They were so. awesome. I, I think they both did a great job. Yep. Um, this week, you're right. Get behind me, Satan. Satan and uh, yeah, I do. I use that line a lot these days. <laughs> not or not today, Satan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mine are usually related to food. You know, like too much. Oh, things. yeah. yeah. Me yeah, and I usually end up eating it anyway. <laughs> Get behind me because I want to eat it first. <laughs> oh, yeah, the cannolis at the Venetian resort. I mean, oh, man, yeah. oh man, I went to that Italian bakery and those cannolis. Uh, Get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. And Martin and I uh, went to the church early yesterday to do music planning for the next month or so. And um, we got done about five o'clock. And so we had till seven before choir rehearsal. So we said, okay, let's go eat. So we went out and we're like, where do you want to go? We want to be good. No, we want and we ended up at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Comfort food. Comfort food. <laughs> so uh so the yeah, this week is uh Matthew 16, 21 through 28. Um, this is where uh Jesus said, if you want to come after me, take up the cross. We've talked about that scripture quite often. Uh, we've got some great music coming up this week. Mighty is our God. Uh, I'm doing a solo called Rock of Refuge, which is brand new for me. I love oh, it. Good. Um, I actually found it searching for other solos, and I found it, and I was like, oh, I like that song. So I put a track together. We're gonna, I'm going to do that on Sunday. Uh, we've got communion. So we're doing... Um, Come to the table of grace as the communion hymn. Great, great, great stuff this Sunday. So um I just solid. thought of a time to bring Carmichael on. Oh. We do Founders Sunday. You know, maybe I could have him talk about uh the internment and take us to church. <laughs> um, that's in October, isn't it? Uh end of October, beginning of November. Okay. No, it's November. Whatever, not third. Well, I thought, but then I saw that our church conference from the DS was assigned that day after church. So, oh, what day is it assigned? Well, the twelfth of November. Okay, yikes. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of announcements this week because Sharon's on vacation. We're not going to have a lantern for a couple of weeks. Um. And yay for Sharon going away. Yes, she needs to take some time. Yes, um, she, she's on vacation, so it's good for everybody. Uh, but we are in September. I was going to ask if either of you know, what is the special offering for September? Hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen anything, so I just wanted to make sure. Because uh, last month was Senior Life Center, and I haven't seen anything for September. So, um, Do not know. Is there anything or any special announcement that either of you want to make? Melanie, anything going on with the kids you want to talk about? We had a great confirmation class last Sunday evening. 
um, those kids are just um, getting to know each other and enjoying being together. And I just want to give a big thank you to all the mentors, Ray, you're one of the mentors for taking the time to nurture and get to know these kids and provide support to them. Um, so that was a real joy this week. Confirmation was great. Good. Um, yeah. Godly clay and faith exploration is in full swing. Um, yeah. We had some, um, we have some amazing kiddos in the church anyway. Yes, we do. So, and spending time with my mentee, Ella, we just had a, an amazing conversation. Plus, she's a she's a theater nerd like me, so we had a lot to talk about. So, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you were her first choice. Good. So uh, we got Labor Day weekend this weekend. I'm off on my day job now until Thursday next week, and I am so excited. Party! <laughs> it just means more stuff I can and do at the more church. Martin I think. More Martinellis. More Martinellis. <laughs> Um, so that's uh, really, I don't have any other announcements. Uh, fall kickoff. Oh yeah. So September 10th. September 10th. Keep that like on your calendar. It's an opportunity to talk to leaders in the church, find out what they're doing, what activities we have going on. It's all good. Uh, the choir comes back that Sunday. Excellent. We're singing, yeah. um, Come let us sing. Yeah, come let us sing. We just rehearsed our first, had our first choir rehearsal last night for the season. Had a good turnout, actually. I was I was not expecting very many people, and we had 11, because um, a lot of people are still on vacations and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, Also we, on stage. Oh, sorry. No, I was going to say, we have a new person. We have a new soprano named Sally. Yeah, she was yeah. amazing. So what were you going to say, Alice? I'm Melanie. Oh, I was Melanie. No, I was just going to say yay for new people. Yes, yes. And we are looking more for more. We are putting slides um, on the screen for Sundays. Um, but I sent out a little notice uh, in Realm. Said, hey, we would love to have more people, especially altos and tenors at this point, because they seem to be very hard to get. But And some special advice. If you don't have talent, as long as you have enthusiasm. Oh, it's yeah. It's it's a joyful noise. That's yes. what it's supposed to be. So it doesn't it's, matter how much talent you lack. Yeah. As long as you've got enthusiasm. And Martin is, he's a very well-trained choir director. He's got a master's degree in vocal performance, and he can get you sounding amazing. So, uh, Melanie, you were going to say something. On September 10th, I'm also, during the children's time, going to show the video from our SST um, summer service trip with our teenagers. Oh. And so, um, yeah, that video will be there. So kiddos who went to SST, come to church that day if you can and wear your SST t-shirt. And we're going to look at all the fun projects that they did that week. I'm sorry, I keep pushing these in. They keep wanting to fall out. But I couldn't wear my other headphones because I'm the church mouse today. Oh, right. So I was like, all right. <clears throat> so these keep falling out. Um, anything else? Uh, we've got uh, worship planning coming up soon. I think Tuesday, right? Worship yeah. committee meeting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw yes. that on my calendar. And um, I have to, so I think I screwed up something horribly again. Imagine that. Um, Did you see not, my uh, surprise face? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, do it again. I think <laughs> my I surprise face up. was. I think I screwed huh? up horribly again. Um, I we're not on the Marsha McPhee thing yet because I got tricked into they. It used to be part of Mighty Network, and then I clicked on and they're like, "Oh, you have to re-update our app." And I clicked on the app, and all of a sudden, it was one of those free for 15 days like trials and then we'll bill you 80 bucks a month and i think i got stuck and hooked onto that so i've got to cancel everything all over mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. okay. i hate those things i'm so bad at that i was noticing the other day that every single site i go on has pop-ups and before you know you're trying to click on what you've already seen and before you can do it, like that pop-up gets right in the way so it takes yep. you uh so frustrating yes Yep. So anyway, it might be a while before we're on Marsha McPhee. I right, might well, need help getting checked off of, yeah, the other whatever. Okay. I won't waste time. Yeah. Well, um, 
I just know that we have a worship committee meeting on Tuesday and we're going to have to, we've already started talking about the holidays yes. because let's face it. Christmas is getting about two months, uh, October, three months from this, uh, uh, from the 25th of this month. So we're going to have to get planning because those things don't do themselves. You have to, you have to do some kind of planning. So, yep. um, yeah, it's just hard to believe we're already here. And it's raining in Sacramento today. Yeah, it rained on me on my drive-in this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, raining. Well, it rained a little bit. I We had two downpours over here uh, earlier this morning in West Sac. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was raining in Davis this morning, too. And I had my windows open and I had to close them because it was too cold. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Maybe I should put on some long pants. I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> so... um. I can't think of anything else either. Um, I was going through the lantern from last week, but I just don't have anything else that we haven't already shared. So nothing else. We can move on to joys and concerns. I do have a list through Tuesday. Um, Ann Taylor has started chemotherapy and they're requesting for healing prayers for her. Um, has anybody talked to Butch? It says he's home and doing well, but they're expecting a pretty long recovery. Yeah. Um, today he has a post-op appointment. And so I'm waiting to hear from Maybell how that went, but a regularly scheduled, nothing like, oh my gosh, scary, but okay. you know, a regularly scheduled post-op. Uh, Lisa Node is home. Uh, they're asking prayers for her recovery. She's weak and still slowly recovering. Uh, Dave Drapo. Uh, prayers for strength and mobility as he continues to heal. I asked uh, Sandy about him last night at choir. Yvonne Turner. Uh, what's the, what's the update on Dave? Just is that he he's dead? is he's just recovering slowly. Okay. Okay. So, um, Yvonne Turner. Prayers for peace of mind. Uh, Barbara Williams' brother-in-law Jim. Um, new that the new specialist can figure out the reason for his constant and severe pain. Uh, Jean Hart's friend, Beth Lewis, prayers of healing for her ongoing cancer treatment and queer, uh, still requesting prayers for Kathy Deems, Art Jarrett, Sanchia Spandau, and Brian Pingree. Um, and I'm going to throw my Aunt Sandra in there. She's in the hospital. She has a pretty bad case of COVID. So, oh, no. So um, she's doing better. I talked to her yesterday, um, but her oxygen level was low and her heart rate's really high and that's what they're concerned about but uh, the meds were working pretty well so she's doing okay um that's all i got anybody else on your list sue, sue and jerry <coughs> and are going to be worshiping at los altos um methodist church this weekend and they were super excited because it's their anniversary and so they're having a little getaway but that's the church they were married in and so they're going to be worshiping in the church they were married in and she was excited about that. Nice. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, yeah, that's next on their joys and go celebrate 50 years, 56 years of marriage this Sunday, September 3rd. Mm -hmm. I had to scroll down and see that. Nice. Um, uh, Prayer of thanks. Uh, you know, Butch does so much at the church. He's uh, so involved with the running of the light board, uh, the stuff in the booth. And uh, with him being out, people have stepped up and have done a, an amazing job keeping everything running. So prayer mm -hmm. of Thanksgiving or as a joy. I think Scott's in there this week. Scott Olson. Oh, good. Good. But uh, who I know Victor's been in there. Emily. Uh, I'm not sure who else was in there, but they've been doing a great job keeping things running. I think Joanne. Joanne was in there. Was Joanne in there? I wasn't yeah, sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> so. Good stuff. Anything else before we go into prayer? I can't. <laughs> I can tell you what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas anymore. Um, yeah. Everything's posted. Oh, well, so, yeah. Social yeah. media. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm so glad that we didn't grow up like that. Like our Yes. Because there's no evidence. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Melanie, <laughs> Melanie and I talked about that earlier. Just we did. I mean, we did. My I brother, brother is a feral child. Well, I know <laughs> before they 
they passed a law against it. There were a lot of employers who were, before they would hire you, were they were asking for your social media sign-on. Wow. And I'm like, why would they ask for your social media sign-on? They wanted to go in and look at what you post. And California passed a law against that. I don't know if there's any other places that did, but so yeah, that's weird. Nope, you're not going to get my password. Yeah. Intrusion. They're yeah. intruding into our lives. We have no private life. Well, no, because they can track you where, yeah, they can track you everywhere. That little device that is in our pocket, they can track you around the world. Hello. Yeah. If you just say, hey, hey, Alexa, I love Adele songs. Next thing you know. Yeah, play Adele, nonstop. <laughs> James yeah. is convinced because we'll talk. We'll be talking about something in the house, and then all of a sudden he'll get an ad for that. Yes, that's crazy. Um, he's like, they're listening. It's like, okay. I don't know. I about want. You. I want a million dollars, please. <laughs> yes, <laughs> universe, give me a million dollars. I promise I'll be responsible. Alexa, send me a million dollars, please. Thank you. And I'm not posting very much because I don't know if you all get this, but I've had people be like, you're a pastor. You shouldn't post that. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that's my personal life. That's yeah. that's my friends online. And, and that's social. You know, that's not work. But it, it was just. You know, I, yeah, I, I changed some of mine, um, especially after the last two elections. I stopped posting as much. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Me too. It's not fun anymore. So I'm just like, yeah. okay, my kids did this, and I'll post videos. To my kids. Yeah, I'll pictures of my food, pictures of my vacation, uh, some music occasionally, but and I have an artist page for my CD stuff. But yeah, okay. Um, Allison, you want to lead us in a word of prayer? Sure. Gracious God, um, just today we celebrate one year of just getting together weekly, uh, having fun, while we also talk about all that's going on in the church, but we also lift up those who are hurting and in need of prayer, and we celebrate all the many joys that are part of all of our lives. So God, we thank you for all the many blessings and happiness, celebrations like anniversaries and birthdays, But we also lift up to you all our broken places and our hurting places. And we do so confident that um, you can heal us as we help heal each other. And we ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So some things won't change, like we want you to come see us. We'll have the link to the website posted. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff. We're heading into the busy season, though. Christmas and Easter are the the two big seasons for us. What? It's going to get cray-cray. Oh, yeah, it will. It will. Um, uh, Martin and I were talking last night. It's like, oh, my gosh, the summer has, like, flown by. And here we are getting ready to head into the, the holiday season. And for church employees, Christmas is cray-cray. And Easter is cray-cray. <laughs> so... <laughs> And they kind of butt up against it. By the time we finish Christmas, Easter's about ready to start. So Yeah, by the time we season. finish Christmas, I just want to hide under the covers for a week. And I think it's earlier this year. I think um, Easter is in March this year. It is. The 20, so we no, go, 31st, 31st. Yeah, yeah, we go straight to like Ash Wednesday. Oof. Yeah. And we'll be starting. So it looks like we're going to do an Easter cantata this year. So we'll be starting rehearsals for that in late January. So... Awesome. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I was pouting last night because I was like, Cooper, let's go get an ice cream sundae. And he's like, Mom, I can't. I've got schoolwork. Like, I got to stay here and do this. I'm like, you are no fun. I know. My mother used to make me take her at like two in the morning to the 24 hour store to get ice cream. (laughs) She'd wake me up. I'm hungry. Go drive the car. Okay. Oh, my gosh. On a school night? Like On when a you're... school night. I'm um, hungry. I want ice cream. Oh, my gosh. That explains a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So I will see you both on Sunday. And <laughs> um, yay. Here's okay. to another year. Yay. Woo. Oh, Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for both of you for making this so much fun. Couldn't do it without you. 
Love you both. Love you. Love you too. Love you both.